More with less brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. You know, when Peyton Manning came to town in 2012, everybody wanted a piece of him. Fans wanted autographs, media wanted interviews, corporations wanted endorsements, charities wanted appearances. I'm involved with a few charities and businesses in town, and the people who run them asked me to invite Peyton to this and request him for that. That first year, at least, he declined almost everything. His attitude was, I need to spend a lot of time rehabbing my neck. I need to get acclimated to my new team, to my new city. I need to learn where the grocery store is. I need to get my family situated. He said no to just about everything in his new city that first year. And I understood. We tend to forget these guys are people too. They have lives outside of football. In Peyton's case, he's a football junkie. And that first year here, probably to the detriment of his family, I'm guessing, he spent almost every waking hour rehabbing, learning the playbook, learning his teammates, his coaches, learning how to be a Bronco. Despite the playoff loss to Baltimore, it led to a fairly fun, pretty successful 13-win season that included a 10-game winning streak and an appearance in the playoffs. Now, not every player and coach has Peyton's intense, myopic view of how the game should be practiced, played, and won. Remember good old Brandon Marshall, the former Broncos wide receiver? Last year, as a Chicago Bear, he accepted an offer to be on Showtime's weekly show inside the NFL. It meant on the player's usual day off, Tuesday, instead of resting, letting his body heal, thinking about the next game, Brandon Marshall would get on a plane, fly to New York, do a TV show, then fly back to Chicago in time for Wednesday's practice. Typical, selfish, me-first behavior from the bad boy receiver. That's not Peyton. He'd never do that. And I'll tell you about somebody else with the Broncos who has that same focused, concentrate on getting better, win at all costs mentality. It's the new head coach, Gary Kubiak. Much like when Peyton came to town, Kubiak tells me he's already getting asked to do a lot of things outside of football. I know this because I did talk to him after practice this week. I asked him if he's interested in doing any endorsements, if he's interested in hooking up with any charities, with any companies, etc. Gary said to me very plainly, you know, I just don't think I should do anything, at least my first year back. I just want to do the best job coaching I can do for this team. That's Gary. Uh -huh. He's honest, humble, and centered. Like Peyton, he just wants to win. Now, those companies that want him won't be happy, but if you're a Broncos fan, you should be deliriously happy to hear that. This coach has one thing on his mind, and it begins with the letter W. And that's more with less. Did you guys know that about Gary? He is oh, just. I, I, didn't, know, I didn't know he liked wings that much. You didn't? That's the W? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he, he said to me, it is just about making this team and coaching as best as I can. Well, you know what's impressed me most about, not most, but one thing that's impressed me a great deal about Gary is when he was the offensive coordinator, he was obviously a very good people person. I mean, I thought he kept uh, Jake Plummer and Mike Shanahan from strangling each other. Well, he was a buffer between Mike and John Elway at times as well. Okay. Yeah. So he, but when he had the chance to become the CU football coach, I thought he turned it down in part because he didn't want to do all the hullabaloo that Correct. you're talking about. Yeah. And he's in front of the media. He's way, I know it's a lot of time, and he's been the head coach in Houston in the interim, but he's way more comfortable yes. in with all the hullabaloo. The spotlight. The spotlight and the media and all the other demands on a head football coach other than just coaching the team. But at the heart of it, you're right. He's a football coach that wants to win yes and then go eat wings not not a football coach who wants to win and then go eat rubber chicken and make a speaking engagement fee so but so he's gotten better at all the extra stuff yeah but at the core of it he cares first and foremost about winning okay you good do you wipe up all that butter yet? Do you wipe up all that butter? You might want to do that. that. That's what I was going to. I want to, want to wipe off my fingers first. That was the shortest of more or less or whatever it is. You wanted it to go longer so you could well, eat more? I, 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 <laughs> more. And plus, plus, we've changed the procedure because you usually do the commercial and go to it. Yeah. And I, so I got caught. Cut caught you a little, uh, yeah. Uh, I would just add, because I, I come from a different perspective here, because he lives right by me. He does. <laughs> and you never see him. Is there a he's not 
uh, John Fox was more of a public guy, and mm -hmm. you know that. He would go to no, Shanahan's all the time. And sit at the bar alone. Yep. Yeah. And Kubiak's not like getting out in the neighborhood. He's working night and day. So mm -hmm. I would just add to that that he's not like, some of his assistant coaches are hanging out the pool. <laughs> That's all He's right. not hanging it. Well, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, on off days. Yeah, that's not a complaint. I I like that. I like that. But I can tell you, Gary Kubiak's working night and day, and I've heard that from more than one yeah. person that he's he's not yeah. doing anything except concentrating on football. Yeah, very evident. Yeah. And uh, more with less brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village, Colorado's number one volume Lexus dealer. It is conveniently located at I-25 in Bellevue, right off the freeway. Go to their website or go to the lot. Take a look at their current specials. Take a look at their new vehicles. Their certified pre-owned vehicles. But take a look. Go to CooneyLexusofGreenwoodVillage.com.